I'm going to make this brief and to the point. A lot of people have said a lot of hurtful things these last few months I've been on YouTube. And it stings a little bit. I'm just thinking about all the other people out there who who try to make a difference and, and try to do their best to try to say something positive for people. To give people that little push, a little encouragement to keep them going. For everybody who has said something foul, bad, discouraging, sad, depleting, draining, humiliating, frustrating, pitiful, ignorant, despicable, deceitful, lies, untruths, and all-out rude behavior. To everyone on YouTube that don't have anything good to say, this is for you. <coughs> Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. You've been too. YouTube friends are very important when you are um, uh, a first timer here on YouTube. It is better to uh, get at least some kind of um, trusted loose associations uh, to begin with. Um, I did um, stumble upon it um, upon the uh, these group of fr uh, group of friends, Real Alex, Father Judgment, uh, all these guys, you know, Dave of J, via Father Judgment actually. Uh, a video he did about um, Paul Savang, who kind of were doing their own thing as well. But it just felt like a community, a mini community within a community. So friends uh, are probably what kept you going. But a lot of these people just deleted their account and came back again, as Eric pointed himself. Um, but also, um, they still kind of kept going because they had each other, as um, as it were. And um, I think the AX is just doing his own thing, that's why he just never quit, uh, never changed his name. He's got other names, but never quit, you know, never change uh, for anybody, as he says. YouTube friends must have them, or gotta have them.